Hey guys, Techmany here, also known as Matthew Rivera, and today I have a very, very special unboxing to do and review. So let's get started. I'm gonna teach you how to... So today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a microphone that was sent to me, a company called Five Fine Technologies or Five Fine Microphones sent this microphone to me and it's the microphone k6 this microphone is a dynamic microphone which is very different from a condenser microphone which is right here the mxl 990. condenser microphones are very sensitive they have a higher response and frequency rate than any type of microphone except probably a ribbon not sure about that now, dynamic microphones are used for like news reporters and you see them holding a microphone like this, that's a dynamic, which it catches anything that's like this in front of them. The K6 microphone is made for karaoke or any other type of applications. Now, because this is a dynamic microphone, I already have one, which is the EVN slash D267 AS. This is a electro voice microphone that I had and you can tell it's a little worn out. It's it's old um, but it does a really good job and it also has a very low end response which is very very nice. So I'm going to be comparing this with the K6 that I'm going to be unboxing right now. Okay so you are greeted with the fine fine technology logo which is really really nice. And when you open it up, you are met with a very stiff box. Okay, so here is the papers that you'll find in the box. This is just an advertisement, which is very nice. It reminds me of a good bookmark. I won't use it for that though. Let's put this to the side. And we are greeted with the user's guide, K6. Now this tells you what everything about the microphone is, um, what cord you get, all these other things, the warranty. And then my favorite part is the specifications, which it's just all of the tech geeky stuff there, which is very nice. Here's the back. So you now have this female XLR to male one fourth cable. Now the one fourth end is something called a TRS cable and it's tip ring sleeve and that is an unbalanced cable. It's very nice to have this cord, but I won't be using the cord in this demonstration. And here is the microphone. Wow, feels very nice. Here's the fine, fine logo. It feels nice. It feels light and it feels metal, so it might be aluminum. It's very nice. There's the XLR connector on the bottom. And the switch is a little bit rough in a way of it being plastic. The head or the capsule is very nice. So in comparison, of the two mics that we are going to compare in this video, um, about both of them do feel the same. They're, they are the same height, but the capsule on the right side for the K6 is a little bit bigger, so it makes it look big. But both of them do feel about the same size, which is very weird. Okay, so I think it's time to review and compare both of these microphones. Here we go. Okay, so now I unboxed the microphone. Now it's time to compare the Fi Find K6 between the EV microphone. I'm not going to say the long name of it. To be fair with this comparison, this microphone uses a female to male XLR cable and this one uses the female to male female XLR and then the male one fourth. So to be fair, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the XLR cable for this microphone and this microphone. This XLR cable 
went with this microphone so it's going to work with this one. The issue is here is that you won't be able to hear me through a condenser microphone which is the MXL990 that I'm using. Why I can't use it is because 48 volts is required for the condenser microphone to work. And if you run a dynamic microphone with 48 volts, you'll wind up ruining the microphone and also ruining your components. So this microphone is going to be plugged into channel 4 on my mixer right over here, the Behringer NXQ 1202 USB. And it's running through my Mac into Audacity, which is very easy to use and it's free. Okay, so let's get started with the comparison. Okay, so you're hearing me through the EV microphone. I already know how this one sounds like and it sounds very well. I love the warmth it has. Everything on my EQ on my mixer is all unity or flat. Um, it's all straight. I used this microphone in the beginning of my YouTube channel as a sort of upgrade and I used that for a while until I got the MXL990 which I have two of them now. Both of these microphones, the MXL990, is a very good microphone condenser wise. It's very, very budget friendly too. This microphone is $18.99 on Amazon and you can get it there too. So this piece right here can come off and you can see the actual microphone itself. Now the build quality of this microphone is very, very good. It is heavy. It's a little bit heavier than the K6, but it's very, very good and feels good in the hands. This piece right here comes off for whatever reason, I don't know why, and it shows a capsule, which just it's just a wire running down to the XLR connector on the bottom of the microphone. To mention, this one also has an on and off switch, but when I started using this, I had to take off the on and off switch because every single time I plugged in the microphone, it either cut in and out or it had static. And I figured, hmm, it has to be the power switch. So I cut it and I wrapped it with electrical tape, shoved it back in, and it stopped cracking and it stopped cutting in and out. So that was the issue. So as I turn this around, you can see there's a switch casing here, but it is empty. I can't switch it on and off because I took the switch out. Now probably you'll be hearing plosives like P's, P's and B's. That's what you'll be hearing. And it does get annoying. And that's the problem with dynamic microphones. And because since this is so close to your mouth, and it's a dynamic microphone, it has to be close to your mouth. And if I go this way, and just farther away, and now it's over here, you probably can't really hear me as well. So dynamic microphones are just for the interview type of things. Am I right? Right? Okay, you get the point. So, dynamics are just a very tight, enclosed polar pattern, let's just say, because it just basically picks up about this much. Unlike condenser, you have the flat space, and then you have like a sort of like a heart. And the back side of this is where nothing can get to it. It'll just sound muffled or very, very low quality. As you go around the condenser, it picks up your sound even, it picks up your voice even better. Alrighty, now let's switch to the K6. Okay, so now you are hearing me through the K6 now. Now, when I was hooking this up, the XLR I was using for the EV, I had trouble putting it in for whatever reason. So I grabbed the XLR cable that was connected to my condenser and I just plugged it in and it went in fine. All the levels are the exact same thing. It's just this microphone is plugged into channel 3 and it's not in channel 4. Now as you can see, this microphone has an on and off switch unlike the EV microphone. If I turn it off, you'll hear me. So what I'm going to do is that because everything is flat and the exact same thing, levels and everything, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to sing a note constant and record it on both microphones and see if there is a slight or even any type of difference between the two. Because 
usually dynamic microphones polar pattern is the exact same thing. So when I do this and keep talking, it just gets harder and harder. And also when you're doing this, it just brings direction to the person that you're talking to and your voice is not overbearing and it just concentrates on their voice here. Alrighty, so I'm gonna sing a note that's just a regular note and I'm gonna switch between the two and see if there's a difference. And I'm also gonna be singing it at sort of the same area here, prob probably right around here. Ready? This is the K6. Ooh. Uh, okay, so um, I listened back to the microphones and holy moly, they are very, very similar. Comparing the two between quality and the prices, it's, it's very weird how they sound so similar. As I listened back to it, I held both of them at the sort of the same position, and I found that the EV microphone had a more high of a range than anything. It had its low end, which is very good, and it also had a very crips high end, which was also nice. It brought out detail. With the K6, it had its low end, but it sort of almost lacked like it's so close but it almost lacked the just it just lacked the highness and to mention none of these microphones here are post edited nothing they're all flat on the eq all the same levels and gain and everything everything's the same the only thing that is processed or post processed of audio is the mxl 990 that is it so comparison between the two I find that the EV microphone does have its high range, but also for an affordable price of $18.99, the K6 is a very good budget saving and budget friendly microphone if you want to get into YouTube because I used this microphone when I first started getting into audio on YouTube. They're both almost the exact same size except for the capsule. It's just a little tiny bigger than this one. Now the only concern I have about this microphone, the entire thing out of anything, is the switch. The switch is plastic. It does have an indicator off and on, but the, plast but the switch is plastic. So be careful with plastic because you know plastic is known to be broken very easily. So just be careful. Now if you are using this in a karaoke atmosphere, usually there is a level that you can turn down on the system so you won't have to flick this on and off every time. But overall this microphone is just amazing. It's very nice. It's light. It doesn't feel heavy in your hand. You can hold it however you want and I absolutely Love it, actually. I love how this adds to my arsenal of dynamic microphones, which is just two. And I just love, I love the sound of it. It surprised me a lot. Now, this is just a note. Because Fine Fine sent me this microphone, I'm not being biased here at all. I'm, do, I'm giving you my true opinion about this one. And I'm actually, for my, my own opinion and not being biased, I'm actually leaning towards the case so if you are in a budget friendly situation and you want to get a dynamic microphone that is very suitable and durable get the five fine k6 which is a perfect dynamic microphone anyways guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i want to give a huge shout out and thank you to fine fine microphones the link will be in the description box below for the amazon link for the k6 and to the Fine Fine Microphones website. I'm very glad they reached out to me to review their product. And by far, this is a awesome opportunity that I had. And this microphone is awesome. Have you subscribed yet? Have you? If not, what are you doing? You shouldn't. Because when you subscribe, there is something called a notification bell. You click that 
or press on it depending on what your device is and you can receive notifications whenever I upload a video like this one or a reaction video or any type of video in that matter. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Fine Fine Technologies for sending me out this K6 microphone. And I'm glad that I have this in my arsenal of dynamic microphones. So, this is the Tech Manny signing off. See you later, guys.